I'm sure you're familiar with the old saying, the cream rises to the top. You know what I mean? The best person for the job can never go too long without being noticed. In sports, it's easy to see. Captains always rise to the challenge. The best quarterbacks want the ball in their hands for that game-winning drive. Just like the ace of your pitching staff wants to be on the mound for the ninth inning of a one-run game. Because when things get tough, you turn to your leaders. But the funny thing is about leadership, you recognize it most when it's not there. You've probably seen it at work when dealing with a crappy boss. I'm going to need you to go ahead and come in tomorrow. So if you could be here around nine, that would be great. OK? Oh, oh, and I almost forgot. Uh, I'm also going to need you to go ahead and come in on Sunday, too. A bad boss can ruin an office, just like a bad president can ruin an entire country. And if we're talking about poor leadership, doesn't get much worse than Joe Biden. He spent the COVID pandemic hiding in his basement rather than stepping up to the challenge. And now he suddenly wants another job, leading the new world order. You know, we are at an inflection point, I believe, in the world economy, not just the world economy, in the world. And now is a time when things are shifting. We're going to there's going to be a new world order out there. And we've got to lead it. Joe wants to lead the new world order. He can't even keep his own house in order. His son's a walking disaster. When he's not getting kicked out of hotels for crack, Hunter's striking up deals with sketchy foreigners, banking millions off the Biden family name, and almost making his dad lose an election. Almost. And Biden's White House in shambles. Not only is Kamala useless, but the VP's office and the Bidens don't even get along. More on that later. So would you trust Joe running anything? He can't even get the Saudis on the phone, let alone lead the New World Order. Hell, he doesn't even know what's happening in his own country. He thinks this economy is prospering. Listen. We've worked together on the American Rescue Plan, on COVID, on infrastructure, supply chain, innovation. The climate, clean energy, reducing cost, and a whole lot more. And our strategy has worked, I believe, and I think it's still working. Strategy is still working? No, it's not. Working class Americans are feeling a lot of pain right now. The country's on the brink of stagflation. Inflation's at a 30 year high, and gas prices are at a record high. If that's going according to plan, can't imagine what it looked like if it wasn't. But Joe thinks he can rework the whole world. Sure. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time he tried. Remember back in the early 90s when the Soviet Union collapsed? Bush 41 said the New World Order was an opportunity. We have in this past year made great progress in ending the long era of conflict and Cold War. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order. Well, sadly, Bush lost. And Clinton, Wall Street, and stupid senators like Joe Biden shaped the new world order. And that new world order ended up just being massive globalization, putting other countries first and America last, pushing deals like NATO and NAFTA, where we opened our borders, shipped our jobs down south to Mexico, and empowered the cartels that are funneling drugs into our neighborhoods. And China can thank the New World Order for their giant leap forward. We pushed to add them into the WTO, opening the door for American manufacturing jobs to be shipped overseas, putting money in Beijing's pockets and turning them into the monster that they are today. And who was pushing globalization the whole time? Bingo. It was Joe, who at the time was sitting on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, where he learned how to empower our enemies and kill off working class jobs, better known as the Biden Doctrine. America last continued while he was VP. Biden helped create the China monster, and now he wants you to forget. Biden played footsie with Ukraine and NATO, and now wants you to forget. I don't think so. 
This new world order will be no different than the last one, maybe even worse, since it looks like Biden wants to turn it into a green new world. We're going to talk about new expansion manufacturing capacity and to invest in America itself is in manufacturing, climate resilience, clean energy, so America can win the competition of the 21st century. Biden helped make everything in China, and now he wants to make everything in America. Okay. That's like borrowing your buddy's car, wrecking it, and then asking for the keys again. They think we haven't been paying attention. People just want ways of putting food on the table and cheap gas in their cars. They don't care about the green stuff until it lowers costs. All we want is to put Americans first. So if you're going to go out and screw us over with another of your little new world orders, at least give us a say in what the new world will look like. Because the American people can't trust you anymore. How could they? The last thing this White House has shown us is what they're doing behind the scenes. From colluding with big tech to covering up Hunter's laptop to not holding China accountable for that virus leak. The American people have had it. And the same media that was screaming for Trump to release his transcripts with foreign leaders is suddenly now quiet when Biden takes a two-hour phone call with China's president. They don't seem to find it one bit suspicious when Joe has nothing to say about a phone call with the president of our biggest adversary. And the media is quiet, Joe's quiet, and that's the problem. They've kept Americans out of the loop while they go out and let other countries just walk right all over us. So Biden thinks he's the right guy to launch the next new world order. Well, if that's the case, you can expect him to just screw us up all over again, because that's what he's been doing for the past 50 years. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.